welcome back to the channel i am rupali shah a blockchain developer and your instructor at newton school so in this video we are going to see a demo of how you can upload uh, images how you can upload anything on ipfs it would be a demo video and uh, before moving to our demo e video let me introduce you with newton school it is an edtech company that helps you to become a full stack developer so if you are someone who is uh, interested in becoming full stack developer then you should really check out the link in the description because then you will be getting the course details and you will be knowing that how our company would help you to become a full stack developer so let's get started with the demo video and the best part about our company is that it uh, never uh, charge you any fees in the beginning once you complete the course get a placement then only you need to pay for the your courses and it also provides you a guarantee placement from 5 lakhs to 50 lakhs so it's a very win to win situation and it's a very good deal so don't forget to check out the link in the description now let's get started let's move to our vs code and let's see how we can store stuff decentralized way in uh, web3 storage so let's get uh, let's see ipfs demo so this is my uh, react application a very basic application with just accept a file from your local system like you can just click on this button choose file and you can just uh, choose any of the files and uh, we we need to upload this file on ipfs using uh, ipfs http client library and uh, this library is uh, basically from uh, npm so we are going to use that library too and storing files on decentralized network would be cool because like your files can't be tampered or it can't be deleted so that's a good thing right so let's get started and let's see that uh, how we can store stuff on ipfs using this library and uh, how we can actually have the web3 storage the decentralized storage so let's move to the uh, that uh, this visual studio code and uh, over here you could see some ipfs code but uh, we will be explaining it everything so don't worry first let's move to the package.json file and uh, here we have one library already installed and this i had to do because of some network issues at my site so yeah uh, you just need to write one line of code which was npm i ipfs http client and this would be added on your package.json file now let's move to the app.js file it's the main file that gets render on the like um, front end side the react side and over here we are importing the ipfs create module as ipfs http client and then we are trying to create a client out of it using a infura uh, id and this particular infura id is uh, like api uh, it, you can say that infura has provided us some api points and we are accessing their uh, services using those api points so this api point we are calling and uh, we are creating the client now after creating a client you could see over here this label part and uh, this is basically uh, for uh, accepting the images from our local storage and this file is basically the constant at which we have stored the image so let's see a demo of it uh, let's choose a file uh, let's select a file basically and over here you could see that this file name was i o i p 2. jpg its size was 22092 and its type is image slash jpeg so this way we had a file and uh, this particular file basically uh, helps the, us to like uh, uh, get our uh, uh, like 
helps us to get a particular file that we would be storing on a blockchain uh, on decentralized network which was ipfs so after creating like after getting the file and creating the client now it's time to uh, basically store data on blockchain so let's create a variable add and this variable would be having a client uh, dot uh, add function like uh, let's first see that on printing client what we would be getting so let's have the console of client also client uh, see oh yeah uh, let's move to the browser refresh it choose a file uh, this file and over here this client has so many functions like the block, the block stamp, the cat and so on. But our main function would be add and using this add function we are gonna store the file on the blockchain and this add function is a async function. So we would be using await and that's why we have created our onchain function as async. So now what we are going to do is we are going to just use client.add and we are going to add the file at the client side and it will be returning us uh, the path. So let's have the add is equals to uh, client.add uh, uh, file and now with the help of this uh, particular url we can grab this particular url we can grab the file too so we are gonna have the url over here and uh, this url uh, like uh, right now we are gonna say add dot path because uh, this add is having the path which our client is gonna return the the uh, basically ipfs client is gonna return while after storing the file on their particular blockchain so now let's have a console of this thing uh, console.log url and let's see that how it works so let's have a refresh let's clear out everything and let's choose a file so let's choose this third file let's open the file and we got a undefined thing so I guess, okay, I told you to have the await thing because we saw that uh, this was a async function and that's why it would be uh, like taking some promises. So yeah, now it should work. Uh, let's again have the refresh and let's select the image, the third image only. And yeah, we got this link. And this would be the source file, the source from where you can grab your uh, data from the blockchain. So let's open it and you could see that uh, this is basically the hash of your file, I guess. And uh, this is a unique hash, like for every file you will be getting a unique hash. And uh, when you will be using this hash on uh, like uh, browser with the help of HTTPS request and uh, IPFS Infura ID you could grab that image uh, on your browser so that's it for today guys I hope you enjoy this video and learn something new out of this we just want to give you a demo like how you can use IPFS clients and IPFS to uh, store data on uh, blockchain store data decentralized way and uh, this not only just store uh, images or videos or something like that you can also host your website on ipfs so yeah it's a cool thing and you can go deep into this very clearly so thank you for watching and i hope you enjoy this video don't forget to like this video because it motivates us to create more videos like this and subscribe the channel because that will keep you connected with us and we will be coming with more and more and more blockchain stuff on the channel very soon.